So who is the Reverend Leonard Gates and why did he have his own library? Many people kept libraries. Reverend Gates was a church pastor and he had a lot of reading to do. He and his wife Caroline had 11 children. So books were valued. Private libraries were primarily for educational purposes. Reverend Gates would have availed his library to his children too for their education. Schools though had a limited number of books, if any at all. There were no public libraries in Red Deer at the time. Books were expensive in the 1880s so people would collect and share books. Literacy at this time was at its height. No radio or television and no internet existed at this time. His library was extensive and he eventually received an honorary doctorate degree in philosophy. When Leonard Gates moved to the crossing in early day Red Deer, his first house was a crude log cabin. Then he built his family farmhouse named Bellevue to accommodate his 11 children. When he was ready to retire in 1901, he moved to a cottage in Woodlea area. This cottage had a library attached for reading and for business meetings. This gazebo style library that you see in Heritage Square is all that is left of his cottage style home. 